We are here in Lincoln Park, near the entrance to the Lincoln Park Zoo, right by the parking here. On the other side of me is the Lincoln Park Lagoon. Starting just before the World's Fair came here to Chicago, the city builds a lot of structures in anticipation of the 1893 World's Fair coming here. Now, structures that aren't necessarily on the fairgrounds, which is Jackson Park, where the Museum of Science and Industry is today. They wanted people coming to the fair that year, not only to see the fair, but to see the rest of the city. So what was built on this side of town, just back behind me, somewhere in this area, was a sightseeing bridge. It was a four-story high bridge, which uh, for lack of a better name, they called High Bridge. You could get up on top of that bridge and you could actually see the fair going on in Jackson Park because the downtown at that time frame wasn't built up like it is now. But the bridge was only up for a short period of time. It only existed back here from the early 1890s when it was built until 1919 when they tore it down, claiming that it was in disrepair. But in that short amount of time that it existed, there's been documented around 100 suicides off that bridge. Many other attempted suicides. Also, many accidents happened off the bridge. Uh, the bridge also became like a known local hangout for like all the drunks, prostitutes, and weirdos in the neighborhood. So with all these suicides that took place off this bridge, I think that's the real reason why they tore it down. Uh, not because it was in disrepair, but it became very hard for the cops to patrol this bridge. You come out here at night today, and this area looks pretty remote. You can imagine how remote it was over a hundred years ago. Starting in the late 19th century, there were many people working in the zoo, people that lived in the neighborhood, and also the cops that worked the beat in the night here at the park who are having a lot of paranormal experiences. You look through old newspapers, you will see a lot of stories of cops claiming to chase shadow figures through this section of the park. One shadow figure that the cops chased a lot through the, this area of the park was one they nicknamed the Sombrero Man. It looked like a shadow figure with a big sombrero. <laughs> the cops claimed that they would shoot at this sombrero man and he would shoot back, but neither side was ever hit with a bullet. So everybody thought this was one of the most haunted sections of Lincoln Park because of all these suicides that took place over here. There's been two little girls, little twin girls who were seen roaming around this area. There was an accident off the bridge where two little girls did die. We don't know if it was a suicide, it was ruled an accident. Late 19th century, they said it was very popular. People back at that time frame were obsessed with death, the old Victorian era. They said it was very popular back then to picnic underneath this bridge and hope that you were here when somebody committed suicide. It's kind of a thing to do. Bring the family, bring the kids, bring grandma, come out here, picnic, and hope for a suicide.